Hi everyone, this is Dave. Now this is a Samsung 850 EVO solid state drive. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this, or in fact any solid state drive, to create a really fast external storage solution. And the products I'm going to be using this with is from StarTech.com. This is a USB 3.1, 10 gigabits per second, tallest enclosure. We're going to take a look and see how it performs. So I've got everything connected up to my late 2016 MacBook Pro. This is the 15 inch version with the touch bar. Just to recap, inside the drive, we have got the Samsung 850 Evo solid state drive. This happens to be the two terabyte version, but any two and a half inch solid state drive will fit into this uh, StarTech enclosure, as long as it's got a SATA connection on it. This is what the product packaging looks like for the enclosure, so you can see some of the specs there as well and the enclosure itself is pretty good it's primarily made of plastic it's very lightweight it's got an activity light on the front it's a tallest design so you can just slide this off and then install another drive we've also got rubberized feet on the bottom it comes supplied with a usb 3.1 cable to usb c so no need for any adapters now i'm using blackmagic designs disk speed test software so we're going to set this going and see what speeds we get. And you can see here on the right, on the very first run, a very respectable 476.8 megabytes per second. And on the read, 511.6 megabytes per second. And then 513.2 on the second run. These are very, very respectable speeds and perfectly good enough for an external video editing solution. This will handle up to 4K editing on the go, whilst you're out and about, onto an external device. So very, very high performance. Now this is great for storing things like regular files as well, or photos, but where I really see this value is if I'm editing video whilst I'm on the go, I can edit to an external solid state drive. This is a very lightweight enclosure, and I can highly recommend it. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel. Check out the links down in the video description to where you can pick up one of these for yourself. And also, please do hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very soon on the Geekanoids channel.